<laughs> okay, my name's Anne Margaret and the guys call me AM. I've been with the charity now for two years and I first started because I saw it on Facebook um, and I came down to the charity and Jay, one of the founders, took me around and told me the story, told me where they were going and what it was all about. Um, that was on a Wednesday. I came back on a Monday to pull weeds out of the cobbles in the cobble courtyard next door and I've never left and that was two years ago um, and these days I'm often found to be behind the bar or painting or varnishing or sanding or doing anything the charity needs to get us one step further to the end objective which is to help veterans um, and support them when they come back into civilian life. Um, I'm actually be at home probably planning for school tomorrow <laughs> but instead I'm here um, with the bikers um, it's great fun a bit of a social life as well I suppose um, but the most important thing is supporting the charity and pushing it further for, for the people that need it Okay. Tell me, what, what's it doing for you? What, what does it actually do for you? For me, it's given me a purpose. It's my way of paying a little back to the people that give me the freedom to live my life the way I live my life. Uh, the boys and girls that go out and do the job that they do, um, they give up so much. Um, some pay the ultimate price, and I know we've heard that lots before, but some of them do pay the ultimate price, and this is my very very tiny way of a little thank you and a respect to them um, and their families that also pay a sacrifice um, for the job that they do and they give me the freedom that I have so it's a little thank you to them as well it is, yeah. Thank you very much for your time. You're very more than welcome. My pleasure. Thanks. Okay, um, just a bit of a sign that I did for the Veterans Garage. Um, they asked me if I would produce something for them for the Veterans Garage. Uh, this is what I do I do custom spraying, um, specialising in motorcycles and um, helmets etc um, took me only about two and a half weeks to complete it completely um, it's done on a steel sheet which is been primed and then we went over them with the silver on the metal flake which is holographic flake and then we introduced the colours of the red and the blue candies over the top of that and then finally doing um, some of these detailing work um, and then finishing off with the helmet which is their logo and a little bit of a touch there for re the remembrance side of the uh, of why we're all here anyway That's is the, uh, the the poppies for them um, yeah it's just something that I felt I wanted to do for them um, it's something that I can do so why not do it you know um, so yeah it's, it's turned out good um, if anyone wants any custom spraying or anything done, motorcycles or anything else, my details are on the bottom of it there, and my phone number, just get in touch. That's fantastic. And tell me, how did you get involved in the garage? Um, from when it's first, I'm, I'm a local local guy anyway, so I live down the road, you know. Um, this area was my stomping ground as a child, so I know the airport pretty well, you know. And uh, yeah, when it was uh, first in its in fruition, it was interesting. Obviously everyone thinks everyone's got a, um, an uncle, a granddad, a dad, father, or whatever it's been in the armed forces. My dad was an ex-veteran that captured at Dunkirk. And what was most interesting about this thing was this is a little bit of a private touch for myself because my dad had, lest we forget, on his arm, which was always tattooed on his arm, and it was below um, a nurse's head when he was captured at Dunkirk. And uh, he was took to Poland and he served five years as a prisoner of war and this was something that he put on for the Red Cross and I could never understand it as a kid 
because I used to say it was spelt wrong dad it's last we forget you know where's this last and I could never quite understand it now I do get the gist of it and so that was a little bit of a finishing touches there and you know with the old Tommies in there and everything so it's a bit of a memory for me why I wanted to put that on there um, I've said to the guys down there I'll probably do some more for them I wanted to do one that was sort of navy orientated and one for the Air Force as well so it'll be a matching three um, it's when I get time and it all costs money to do <laughs> you know nothing's free in this world um, the materials cost money um, it'd be great if I could get a sponsor if someone's prepared to uh, help me out with some of the some of the, the candy paints and some of these metal flakes then I could use them to produce more of this work for them um, but it's for a great cause um, on a personal note my daughter's boyfriend now he's ex-military he's just come back from Afghanistan he's left the forces now he was in the 1st Battalion of Grenadier Guards he's got a bit of a problem with post-traumatic stress disorder and so this place he, he's a local guy he's coming down here now and getting some help from these guys as well even if it's only just coming for a coffee and that with ex-serving ex, uh, ex guys as well and it, it all helps him you know so yeah I think it's, I think it's a fantastic charity and uh, long may it get bigger and better as I will yeah as I will. Yeah. Thanks very much for your time. No problem. That was really nice. No problem whatsoever. Let's like say if you want, anyone wants to get in touch with me, the details are on the bottom of bottom, bottom of the sign. If ever you're popping in here, mm. all get give us a ring and give us a shout. Okay. And all I do is I'll zoom into that and get all the details. Yeah. Let's see what we can get. That's it, man. Yeah. So it's 7781872 and it's Kevin oh. Customs. If you look on if you look on uh, Facebook, I have a Facebook page for Kevin. What's the name of the Facebook page? It's uh, Kevin Customs and Tattoos. I do tattoo my tattoo artist as well. Wow. So yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. I'm really uh, credit. Okay. Well done. Okay, no problem. No problem. Uh, yeah, hello. Um, I'm Alan. Um, this is my sister, elder sister, I'd like to say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> my, sli my slightly elder sister, Leslie. Um, and um, basically, I'm a, a veteran from the army. My sister is. X-Royal Navy. I was Royal Artillery. Um, I normally have an ear in Hayden, so people kind of guess it's here artillery because of the big bangs. So um, yeah, I, I served with um, the 1st Regiment Royal Horse Artillery um, as a forward um, observer. So yeah, I did that for 14 years. 14-ish years, um, travelled around a bit and uh, enjoyed the, the best part of it, yeah, so, yeah, um, I mean... So, when you came out of the Army, what, what, um, what were you doing just after the Army? Uh, I left services in 2000, um, I was a HGV driver doing chemical deliveries. Um, my normal route would have been up to the northeast, um, and then all across to Sellafield, um, delivering chemicals into water treatment plants and various other places like the nuclear power stations and places like that. So yeah, um, and then in 2003. No, no, no. Uh, 2003, my life kind of changed. Um, I, I kind of had a, a, a massive, massive meltdown. Um, ended up in um, psychiatric hospital for. Uh, I, I think it was six or nine months. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I, I. I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and a few other issues as well um, and because it was that severe I 
I've lost a lot of my memory of 2003, 4 and 5, um, which is always interesting to try and work out what I was doing around now times. Um, a lot of support from my family, uh, which is great. <laughs> um, my big sister became very, very yeah, big sisterish. <laughs> Yeah. 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 We're quite a, we're quite a military family because both uh, my mother and fa well our mother and father were both in the army. Um, I was actually born in Germany uh, in Dusseldorf in Munster because uh, my mum and dad were out there at the time. Um, so that's where um, like our grandfather he was in the Royal Navy. So he was in the Second World War in Scapaflow. So we, we come from quite a big military family really and grandparents on my mother's side, both of those were in the army as well, so we're going back to the 1930s, 40s there, so it's quite a big military family really. Yeah. But um, yeah. I'm very lucky because I was ex-Navy, I, I did six years, um, I was in the Navy when women didn't go to sea, right. which was lovely. <laughs> because, <laughs> <laughs> women were treated like women and I think I, yeah I'm old I'm old school and I think women should be treated like women and I'm all for women's rights and things like that but I think there is I think it's a social yeah yeah and there's a time yeah. and a place because I think the, I think there is issues where they say that a woman can do the same as a man, they can't. They ca there's a thing, if you're, no, I, I'm quite old school really on that side of thing. I think women are women and that's it. There is a line there, a very fine line to be crossed. She's a lovely girl, she's, I must say, a girl, she's like, I can't, I'd be sick for a long time, but she's beautiful. And she's in the army 22 years still. She's out in 2020. Mm. And she does um, veterans, physios, and physios. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm. Um, look after them the These guys are interested in finding out where the place well they have to have sort of provide some and they want to cascade it into um accommodation for the streets. Yeah. That's where the that's where the Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, Alan's been coming for how long? Have you been coming here now? Uh, six months, seven months, or something. Yeah, God, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I. Well, it's the first time I've ever been here. <laughs> yeah. It's our first. It's my first time because Alan said come along and just come yes. come for a coffee and see where it's like. Yeah. And we felt so comfortable. Are you so cool? Really yeah. comfortable. Come back, come back again. Hopefully, yeah. I tend to work shifts. Well, I will do, but I work shifts, and it's just like, oh, yeah. But it's just getting it working. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I actually work for the cooperative um, in food. I'm a supervisor in the co-op. Yeah. So yeah. And yourself? Um, I'm 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 what's commonly known as medically retired. Um, uh, the, the 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 people that have the power to rule what you can do and what you can't do uh, have, have basically said that unfortunately because of my episodes I can have my good days my bad days and you just don't know what what's going to happen when you wake up so they've just said look yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I mean it, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, so what does the garage do for you? How would you find it? Um, ironically, uh, it's... I, I used to help at a different charity in my local town, Warrington. Um, that shut down. Um, and I'm a biker, so we was out on my bike one day, came across this place, got chatting to Dan and Dave, um, and, and they were just trying to source different things for, for getting the building up and running. Um, I kind of said that actually I've got some stuff that you might want to come down to the building and you can have for the charity and we supplied the um, the big check the big freezer the cake fridge freezer on the side god knows how they carried it up here I wasn't here yes. uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just went I just looked at it when I when I got here and I went how the heck did you get that up here and he went <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's all. I mean, what they've done is uh, they they've kind of done it in a in a style that's conducive for for everybody. I mean, during the day when you've not got all the lights on and it's not like like it is, it's re it's really really comfortable, but come the evening time when you've got these soft glow lights it's just a, it's a completely different atmosphere it is, it's lovely it's like being in a giant garden posh shed yeah do you know what i mean and it's yeah. just like where everything's there and yeah. Just, yeah 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 but even though it's the roughness there's you can feel the kindness and the softness in here yeah oh lovely yeah, yeah. 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 There's always there's a smile. You can just look around it, and there's always a smile, and you and you know that there's always another story from somebody else because everybody's been there, and everyone's had different experiences, and it's good for everybody to actually sit and talk and to share, and that's what it's about. So yeah, it's yeah, it's definitely so, go back. Um, well, we, yeah, yeah, they are, um, I actually, um, did some, I do a bit of art therapy, and I sat down up here about two months ago, um, I was doodling, what I call doodling, um, but the guys kind of went, that's not doodling, it's, that's like proper drawing, um, and I designed, um, a patch, um, and from what I've been told off um, Dan is that they're actually going to incorporate that patch so they can use that as a, a selling tool and income generate for um, the charity um, and so because there's a lot of veterans uh, motorbike riders and I mean bike night here is just normally rammed solid um, I've been here when there's been 300 bikes and it's and it's just something else. It's it's just amazing. So, um, in the future, would I be doing more? I don't know. He probably I will probably be. will be. He will be. <laughs> I probably will be. He will be. Um, I. It's you, you. never say never. Um, I. We're all brothers in arms, um, and we tend to muck in when we can, and when we can't, we. We come Find in. Somebody else that will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we end up making brews and coffees and cakes, cakes and, and all pulling together. Do you know it's so important to get you out of your own bubble? Yeah. 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 Looking after the veterans. Just that for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it, it's massive. I mean, um, I I I'm quite fortunate that I'm I'm quite far along my journey on my recovery. Um, so I actually use what I've done 
as a bit of a guidance to other guys and and I try to kind of pass on some of the tips that have helped me along the way but with the underlining saying that look it worked for me it might not work for you but if you don't try it you'll never know and and the worst thing you can do is is sit there at home where you thumb up your backside and and you be absolutely just going round in one circle not not going anywhere whereas if you come here you're going to meet up you might meet somebody you've not seen for 20 years i bumped into a guy that i served in bosnia with in 93 um, and i've not seen him since and it was like wow hold on a minute and it's one of those ones where you just you're staring at somebody and you're thinking and they're staring back at you and you're thinking does he want to fight me or is what, 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 i know him but but he's looking at me wrong right it's, what the hell's going on here uh, yeah. 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 And then, and then all of a sudden he just turned around and he went, Was you in Bosnia? I went, Well, yeah. Twice. Maybe three times. Why? And he went, I was out there in 93. Ah, that's where I know you're from. And it's like, Oh, man. So, yeah, it's, um, are you just chatting and you're just catching up and sometimes that's really good um, and it and it releases and eases some of those issues that you might be suffering with during them days and and um, and you know you're not alone which is yeah 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 I mean everyone from everyone from yeah Everyone from Dave and, and uh, uh, downwards, it, it's just brilliant. They're all a great bunch of guys and girls. So, yeah. I really don't want to do that. Yeah. This thing was from Dustin. Yeah. 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 It's all for the veterans and Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm. We're going to get you down here a few more times. Oh, and maybe we try and get down here a bit more. Um, not just on bike night, <laughs> which is tonight. Thursday night. There's. They were saying about the classic cars. The, the I, like, class I like classic cars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Thank you very much. No worries. Yeah. Thank you. We'll do. Thank you.